Hi, I'm Christian Grasso, and thanks for taking time to hook up with us today. You know, I was 41 years old before I ever went downhill skiing. I, I took the little class with the four and five year olds, and they taught me how to plow. And after that class, my friends took me on top of this huge mountain and, you know, with slippery skis and said, Have fun! <laughs> I remember looking down the path of where I was about to go, about 150 miles an hour, and I realized that some idiot had put a tree right in the middle of my path. Well, the ski instructor said to me, hey, don't look at the tree, and you'll go around it. That was the most ridiculous thing in the world. I gotta look at it so that I don't hit it. I did not listen to him that day, and guess what? I hit the tree, and I must say the bark is worse than its bite. But here's what I learned that day, is whatever I focus on, that's the direction in which I'm gonna go. So if I focus on what I don't wanna do, I end up doing that. Isn't that what Paul said? That which I don't wanna do, I end up doing? Well, how about we do this? How about, like it says in Matthew 6, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. Notice it says his righteousness, not yours. Notice he says, don't, doesn't stop behaving like idiots and start, no, seek first God. See, the Bible says that freedom is where the Spirit of the Lord is. That's where freedom is. In fact, freedom is not the absence of something, but the presence of someone. So I want to encourage all of you today that um, if you are trying to not do something, maybe don't focus on that as much and start focusing on the direction you want to go, not the direction you don't want to go. If you like these thoughts, I've actually written several things about it in a new book called The Edge. It's available on Kindle as well as Amazon. All proceeds go to help ministries around the world. The Edge, it's a very dangerous place. And yet, for whatever reason, us men seem to jump over the guardrail and find ourselves there on a regular basis. Seek first his kingdom, his righteousness. And guess what? You'll be glad you did. I hope this helped today. Uh, have a good day.